to Cash Kicks TV. Today we're back with a new video and as you guys can see, it is the releases that are coming out in the month of July. Guys, it's going to be a crazy month. I'm going to be spending a lot of money on sneakers. So you got to make sure that you know everything that's coming out. So make sure you watch this video all the way through. But before we get into that, we finally, finally have reached our 1500 subscriber milestone. Thank you to everyone that has helped me reach that goal. Very happy, and now we're on our way to 2,000, so let's get there. We're going to get there, and that's all pretty much I have to say. Thank you for your support. Of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep reaching new milestones. Hit this video with a like so you know this video could be seen. When people type in releases of July, my video will pop up, and let's just get straight into it. All right, guys, so what I love about doing these releases is that we touch not just Jordans or not just Yeezys. We go through everything, man. So this month, we're going to be showing some Jordans, of course, some Dunks, Yeezys. So let's just get straight into it. The first uh, couple of shoes I want to show you guys, these shoes do not have a release date yet, but they are expected to drop in July. So let's get to the first one. It is the Air Jordan 1 Low Varsity Red. Uh, they retail for $90 US. Uh... For me, Jordan 1 Lows is not really my thing. You guys know how much I love my Jordan 1s, but a low for me is not going to cut it. The colorway is okay. Of course, this is like the bread looking colorway, so they're trying to make you they're trying to sell it with that bread colorway, but it's not going to sell me. I'm not sold and it's definitely going to be something I pass up on. It is a pretty good price point. It's pretty cheap, but not something I didn't, I'm into, uh, I think because dunks are starting to get a little hot. You might see a few Jordan 1 lows try to come out as well, but it's just not the same, and I'm definitely going to pass on it. So that's the first shoe I was going to show you guys. I do not have that, that I do not have a release date yet. Let's get into our second one, and it is, wow. It is the Jordan 6 Quai 54. It, it, it's a good looking shoe. I could tell the quality on the shoe is very nice. Uh... Let's see. There is no release date, as I said. It's expected to release in July. And there also isn't a price point on it, which is kind of weird as well. But I still want to show you guys because it is a very good premium quality shoe. So I definitely wanted to show you guys that. I like how it has the Jordan sign on the left pair and on the right side. It has like that logo. I'm guessing that's the Quai 54 logo, whatever um, that is. Um, I'm not too sure what Quai 54 is. I remember releases in the past coming out with that name, but I'm not too, exa too exactly sure of what collab that is. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's, a, it. it's an interesting shoe. I would probably not cop, but I could see there being some resale value into this one. So definitely don't sleep on that. Make sure you to be on the lookout for this release when they do have an official date. Now let's get into some things that do have an official date. Starting off with July 1st right away. Um, is the Nike Do the, the the Nike Dunk Low SP in that white University red colorway, kind of like that St. John's colorway. This is 100% a cop for me. If you remember my last video, I told you there's a Dunk coming out next month that I need. This is the one that I was speaking of. 100% need to go for this. This needs to be my first Dunk of the year that I cop, and I'm hoping it will be. It does retail for $100 US, and the resale is expected to be about $315 us so a little bit of resale value there definitely i can see something in that in my collection definitely gonna go for it hopefully hopefully we're able to cop it and that's pretty much all i have to say on this it's definitely a cop for me let's go into shoe number two and it comes out just so happens to come out into july 2nd technically this isn't july this isn't shoe number two shoe number four but it comes out july 2nd and that is the air jordan 14 toro like I said before, guys, I used to be a crazy, crazy 14s guy and then slowly just fell off of it. I only have two 14s after having maybe about five to six 14s. I'm going to tell you guys, this is putting me right back on the 14s. Everybody wants these, including myself, and I'm going for them. I'm hoping I'm able to get these right on release date. Uh, that does remind me I do have to make a few calls after this video, but it is going to retail for 190 USD, so that's your regular price point for Jordans now, so that is good, but this is going to be a hard shoe to get. There, there is no um, exact amount of the prediction of resale, but I'm guessing it is going to be higher than the retail, obviously, by at least a couple hundred dollars, because this is a shoe that a lot of people want, so there's been a lot of hype towards this one, so if you really want this, make sure you know exactly where is is um selling it because pe people are going to be on this one 
I'm definitely going for this. So let's let's go into our next shoe. And our next shoe is an Air Jordan 13, and it is called the Lucky Green. They do release July 4th for retail $190 USD. Not my favorite looking shoe. Green is not the best of shoe to have on. The best of color to have on a shoe for me. I I don't think I have any shoe that has green on it. Um, especially with the 13, which you, most 13s, you know, that upper... Um, Part of the shoe is usually the dominant color which is the white i don't really like white dominant shoes on top of that and then to have the green uh not the greatest it does remind me of like a, a boston colorway maybe ray allen has something to do with this but this is a no-go for me um there's a lot of heat coming out so this might be a shoe that people ignore because of other things that are coming out are, are really nice maybe if it was a month where not much was coming out a lot more people would look at this but because this month is a full lineup of so much stuff, this shoe will probably get ignored, and I'm definitely gonna ignore it. And we're gonna, we're not gonna cop these. So our next shoe, this shoe has really, really, really like. At first, I did not like this shoe. It is the Jordan Five Alternate Grape that's coming out on July 7th for a retail of $190 USD. At first, this shoe was not on my radar but it's really really grew on me and i'm definitely going to be going for these man so we're already at three shoes i want to cop man and these are like a no-brainer for me now i need these the reason why i didn't want them is because it's hard to put a good outfit with something like these but you just gotta keep your outfit neutral all black and you throw these on and it does all it'll do all the talking for your outfit for you so that's exactly why i said you know what we're gonna get these the quality looks amazing on them july 7th i'm definitely gonna have these on my collection Fives, fives are fives are hot right now, man. So we have the top three fives, and now we got these fives. So let's see if there's any more fives that are gonna be coming out. I expect the great fives to come out soon. So let's see if they drop the end of this year to early next year. But these are definitely, definitely a cop for me. Let's get into our next pair, and it is a pair that gets put that has been pushed back quite a few times, but it's looking like the release date we have for these are gonna stay. And it is the Dior, the Jordan One Dior Highs. Man, these are supposed to release since April, right? These are fire, man. Um, of course, the lows are going to be dropping with it for the exact same price point, I'm pretty sure, of $2,200 USD, which is a high, high price point. Um, honestly, I would not keep either or. The retail on them is just too juicy, man. Like, I got to sell these. I, I can't. If I was to get my hands on the high or the low, I can't keep them knowing I could make over ten thousand dollars profit at the lowest usd like there's no way it's an amazing looking shoe i love it i love how the the, the um the nike check mark has the dior's in there like it's oh man like the bottom with the dior like it's an amazing shoe but i i cannot ignore that resale value so i would sell 100 percent. there's a way i could get two i would keep one probably the lows i really like the lows um, which is kind of weird because I did say earlier I did not like Jordan 1 Lowe's, but for this in particular, I think the Dior takes over the Jordan. So technically, I want a Dior Low, not the Jordan Low, you know what I mean? But definitely would be a cop, but I can't ignore that resale value, so I'll definitely sell after. So that's how I feel on these. Um, that's pretty much it, man. These are supposed to come out for a while. We, sp we spoke on these already. So Dior, of course, we want to copy you, but we got to sell you because you're worth a little bit too much. Another thing is, though, I don't really know. I guess you could sell it on GOAT, but who really is going to have 15, 20 grand that I could sell to? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I can't just hit up an NBA player and be like, yeah, Yo, you want my Dior's? They'll probably already have their plugs in it already, but I don't know, man. Definitely something I would just sell. So let's get into our next shoe. And it is another shoe that I have let grow on me, and it's the Jordan 1. I don't know the name of these. Let's just call it light smoke. I don't know what that. I don't know what it's called, but it's definitely grew on me. At first, I didn't like it because it looked a little tacky, but honestly, that gray is a really nice, like smoky gray, and then the red at the top. I could see me putting this together very well. Um, I don't know if I said it does drop July 11th for a retail of, um, USD of $170, which is a little bit cheaper. That's usually the case with the ones. I could really see myself wearing this shoe. It definitely grew on me. This is definitely a cop, 100%. You know I love my ones. 
The resale value is expected to go up to $340 USD. Remember what I said about those ones? You hold on to ones, man. I'm pretty sure it'll go even higher than that. Jordan ones always tend to stock up, so you're definitely gonna see me try to get these. So we're at, what's that, four shoes I'm trying to cop now? Like, it's a, it's a heavy month, man. And I'm telling you guys, it's a fire month. Let's go into our next shoe, and it is a Yeezy. And this is a shoe that's been pushed back a couple times, but I really, really want it. It is the Yeezy 700 Bone that comes out June 11th for retail of $220 USD. I really want this shoe. I really like this shoe. The quality looks good. I love how the 700 MNVN has the 700 on the shoe. Like, that's the only reason I wanted every single one of them. I love that, like, thing they put on there. And the quality looks amazing. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on these. Lately, it's been really hard to get your hands on Yeezys, man. I can't even get slippers. And I'm not paying the resale of $300 for Yeezy slippers. Because I know what I intend to do with them is not treat them any good. Like, I'm not going to spend the resale on that. So, I don't know, man. Yeezy's been making things more difficult. But... Usually lately I've been saying I'm not gonna bother waste my time because I've been just taking bare L's but for this one I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna take the risk and if I take an L I take an L but I'm definitely gonna try to get my hands on these. That's the easy 700 bone. Really into this shoe. It says the resale is gonna be about $400 USD. I expect it to be a little bit more than that so we'll keep our eyes on that but this is definitely a cop for me. Look how much cost we have so far this month man. I told you guys it's a heavy heavy month. Let's get into our next shoe. And it is the Jordan 12 University Gold. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm still 50-50 on this shoe. It does come out July 18th for a retail of $190 USD. At first, it was complete no. Now, and then it went to like, yeah, I'm copying them. And now I'm kind of like in the middle of the fence. To be honest, it's going to be determined by how many of the shoes I spoke of previously that I'm able to get. Because you know, sometimes it's difficult. You, you can't get everything you want. But depending on how many of those will be my decision if I get these. I like them. I love them. I don't have any 12s right now. I think I got rid of all my 12s. So I wouldn't mind grabbing back a 12 into the collection. Eventually, I want to have, you know, everything back on numbers wise. But yeah, I, I'm, on the, I'm on the fence of these. It's going to determine how much of the other stuff I was able to get. But I would definitely understand if this is something that's on your radar that you really want. It's a nice shoe. And I hope people don't sleep on them. I don't, I don't think people are going to sleep on these, man. Like, it, it, it's a it's a good-looking shoe. Usually, I stay away from the gold, but this is kind of like a yellowish gold. I definitely like the colorway. I like the leather. Like, I'm a really, I'm a, I like 12. I really don't know why I sold my 12s. They just didn't fit right on me. I think I got a size too big, which kind of just threw my vibe off of them, which is why I sold my flu games. But I, I think I'm definitely going to try to uh, keep my eyes on these, and, and we're, we're, we'll see. Don't be surprised if you see me doing a review on hand with these, all right? So let's go into our last shoe. I just try to skim through every shoe because we don't want to be spending too much time on these videos. And it is coming out July 31st. And it is Yeezy 350 V2 Zion. I'm not too sure. I Was he supposed to come out last month and they got pushed? I don't remember, but you guys know how I feel about some of these 350 colorways. Um, this one is honestly not as bad as some of the ones I've seen in the past. But it's still a no cop for me. I'm not into the brown, different types of brown. Like, I love 350s. Oh, my God, they're so comfortable. I think I'm going to go back and try to get some of the ones that I missed in the past. If you guys didn't watch my other video, I was sold a fake pair of the Yeezy 350 with the red-ish pink stripe. I definitely need the real version to that. I'm back in love with 350s, so definitely going to go for those. But these are not really going to be on my radar. They retail for 220 USD. Resale predictions are expected to be $360 plus. I expect it to stay around that range. I don't think these are going to be too popular. It comes out right at the end of the month too. So I think there's just too much going on this month to waste your time on something like this. Which is why I'm going to just say it's a no-go for me. I'm out. And that's pretty much all the shoes that I wanted to speak about. Those are the top releases for the month in my opinion. That I want to let you guys know that are coming out. You guys know the ones that I'm into. The ones that I'm going to go to cop. And the ones that I don't want to. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love doing these videos. Not only because I get a video out. It's mainly because it lets me actually go over what's going to drop. And then it kind of clicks in my head those dates. And it just helps me remember. Because with so much going on. Sometimes you forget when things drop. This helps me remember. So I really hope it helps you guys as well. 
Of course, you know I'm Cash Kicks TV. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We finally reached that big milestone. We've been, re we've been really, really wanting to reach a 1500. But of course, now we got to elevate to the next level. So help me do so by hitting that subscribe button. And just thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. I'm Cash Kicks TV, like I said, and I'm out. Come on, guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button.